One of our SnapStream success stories has been Emerson College. Its journalism department implemented SnapStream back in 2007. And since then, Emerson College has had great success uh, using the SnapStream server to enhance content analysis and increase productivity. Uh, but I guess speaker can tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, Emerson College is about Emerson College and their experience with the SnapStream server. Um, Paul Niwa has had a very successful career as a TV producer. He launched two international television networks, six newscasts, and a streaming media newscast for NBC, CNBC, and Stockhouse Media, Canada's largest internet company. Uh, he also helped NBC create Early Today and the award-winning NBC Asia Evening News. Um, so without further ado, a little bit to tell you a little bit about Emerson College's experience. Uh, I'm going to hand the call over to Paul Nima. Paul? Thanks, Brian. I appreciate uh, your introduction. And uh, I just wanted to start off by saying that you know, the conflicts of interest are really important in journalism. And I just wanted to uh, tell everyone that uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I have not received, uh, nor do I expect, and any compensation from SnapStream. Uh, this is just a product that uh, I've used. I've seen how to transform our curriculum. and. Um, I just appreciate the opportunity to tell others about uh, how, how excellent this product is. Um, I, I also wanted to let you know that uh, at Emerson College, a lot of different departments and faculty are using SnapStream, including our international marketing and our communication studies departments. Um, and uh, over in the journalism department, you know, we, we serve an industry that's going through enormous change. And uh, SnapStream has been really key in helping us train students to be flexible and to write that first draft of history for as many different platforms 24-7 um, in a very timely manner. And it helps us be adaptable, efficient. It's also a simple product that is very powerful. It has a lot of different capabilities. And it helps uh, because it's so simple to use. You know, the journalism that we teach is less technical. and but easier for students to be able to put together stories. And that's really important for us because instead of worrying about technology, it helps our students stay con really focused on um, gathering information quickly, evaluating information, and organizing that information to stories. And I think for educators, it's key because that's, that's helping to lift our curriculum up the Bloom's taxonomy so that students can really understand instead of just regurgitating facts and figures. Um, our facility at the Department of Journalism is in its second redesign, and we're building that up right now. And SnapStream is even more integrated in the, in the second generation than the first. Um, when we build out these kind of facilities, we're really thinking about you know, what is journalism going to be like in the next five years, because that is the time frame that next year's class of freshmen are going to face when they exit Emerson College. Uh, the college is a very small private school, and like a lot of uh, small schools, we have limited amount of space and resources. And, um, and, and so that's also really key to thinking about uh, what kind of tools we use. Um, and so for us, we, we, we think of, we try to use the city of Boston as our laboratory to try to put our students out in the field as, as much as we can. Uh, most of our faculty are experienced professionals from recognized national media, the Wall Street Journal, Boston Globe, CNN, and the Washington Post. And uh, because of that, we try to enforce professional standards. And we're also helping our students think about what the next standard of, of the profession will be. Now, one of the exercises that we use a lot to help teach professional standards and help students reimagine what the professional standards will be for new media is to help to have them analyze uh, programs that journalists currently do. And for broadcast journalism, uh, this has been really difficult in the past. You know, before we had SnapStream, um, we, we did things uh, with VCRs, uh, we all had these filing cabinets filled with tapes all over the place. Um, students often had to be home to be able to record on their VCRs. And I think you guys all remember how, how tough it was to uh, 
per, just put in your the time on a VCR, let alone trying to get it to record at the right time. Um, and so, yeah, any of you who've worked with students know how how difficult and how, how difficult that is. And students come back to you the next day and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get it." And with journalism kind of content, it doesn't rebroadcast. It goes up once, and if you miss it, that's it. Uh, and so. Our students often had really big, clunky, unreliable uh, technology. Um, some of them, uh, like I would try to record in my office onto my uh, DVR-based uh, DVD burner and then try to make as many copies as I could for students uh, of that program so that if they missed the program that they could uh, watch it on their own time and analyze it. Um, if we, if I wanted the students to take that that uh, journalist story and to dissect it and analyze, say, how long a shot was or what shot was juxtaposed against another shot, I'd have to take that that video, that DVD, and ingest it into our Avid system so they could slow slow it down, stop it, move forward, and and things like that. And that was a lot of time and energy. Um, and then things got even more complicated for us uh, because um, a couple of years into teaching, we, Emerson College went through a budget issue and um, uh, the school decided to cut our cable TV. Well, that, that was kind of our lifeblood and we were able to get cable TV in a very limited fashion only for a couple of faculty, but not for all the faculty. So some of the faculty didn't even have, have a chance to have that, uh, or the, that that DVR recorder in their office and be able to take those uh, resources, uh, that video into the into the classroom. So so things were were really really tough in the early days, um, you know, before Snapstream. Well, in 2007, we we were able to get Snapstream, um, and we placed that in every professor's office. And we placed it in all of our. Uh, all of our classrooms, and we also uh, put it out in the hallways in our um, in our computers accessible for for students, so that students could log in and and access Snapstream on their own time. And um, it it has really been interesting because we have given no training to faculty. Um, we basically install it on their computers. There's a little link on the front uh, on their desktop. They double click on it. They they email their password, and they get running on it. And uh, it's just that simple. And in that way, it's really fantastic. We have adjunct faculty who just walk in. We get them set up on a computer, and they start using Snapstream, and they start you know cutting out clips to show in their classrooms, and walk into their classrooms and show it to their classes. Um, it's made the ability to teach journalism so much faster, so much easier um, than what we had before. Um, on you know, the other thing about Snapstream is that it's really out of it, it, it's not something that I really uh, think about on a daily basis because the guts of it are behind a closet that I don't have to worry about. I don't have to maintain. Um, there's a uh, web interface for our, our te technology manager to access it to, uh, say, purge old stuff. But for the most part, it just keeps on running in the background. You know, somewhere, I'm not sure where, at Emerson, there's a closet with Snapstream in it. Um, I don't even think about it. And um, uh, because when I click play, uh, within, say, that click, it is so fast that the video just starts running right on my computer um, and I can clip out stuff out of a show and then save it and then watch it in class so I don't have to run through commercials or burn on a DVD, although sometimes you know, if I want to I can take it on my DVD and, and put it in my archive or uh, so I can show it for another class but uh, in another semester. But it, it is really, really simple. Um, the other thing that I love about it is there are no extra wires in my office. It's the same old internet connection, the RJ45 connection into my computer. There's no extra box that I have to put in my office, uh, like my old DVR. Um, you know, it doesn't clutter my office with 
another device. And like I said, we're an urban college, so we have small offices and limited amount of space. So that really helps me out a lot in my office.